What's up guys, it's Alec Mack 111, and as you can tell by all the freaking boxes, I have another giant unboxing. In fact, there's probably more boxes here than girls that I've talked to in the past two or three years. Which isn't bad, I just like airsoft more than females. So, without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. I'm going to move this sideways and hopefully not block all of the light. This first thing up here, this is actually something I've already unboxed, but for those of you that have been faithful to the channel, I'm going to give you a little sneak preview. The last part is not an airsoft gun, the last unboxing. It's something cooler, and so hopefully with that, if you understand things, you'll be able to get it quicker and understand things. I'm going to go ahead and go with the first big box first, and then we'll unbox these little tiny things because these are all parts and stuff, and obviously everyone needs a little bit of parts and stuff. But the first gun is a Tokyo Marui M16. I have, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea how I'm going to do this, especially since this gun is so heavily wrapped. Um, I actually bought this off of a guy on Craigslist. I got this for a super good deal. Um, I have not had a Tokyo Marui gun in quite a while, so I was really excited to get this. I saw this for a good price come up on Craigslist. Emailed the guy, hey dude, can I, oh, he included the original box. Said, hey dude, can I get um, you to ship this for me? I'll pay PayPal. Um, we'll give you my address and stuff. And so that worked. And he said he didn't use it a whole lot, but you never know with Craigslist sometimes, so we'll see. I'm going to show you the box real quick. This is an old, old box. You can tell by some of the stuff. I doesn't look, the box actually looks in pretty good shape. So we'll see. Man, this is cool. Vietnam version, M16. Vietnam more early version. I'm 5'11", so this is that high. It's not that I'm short, it's that this is super tall. Oh, all the creaks. All the creaks. This thing looks... So it looks... Wow, that is a thick triangle handguard. Wow. Actually feels decently solid for a Colt. The um, Colt receiver marks that are actually uh, Dremel, I don't know if it's Dremel it out or sand it out. Doesn't have the rear body pin. I can't tell, does it have the rear body pin? I can't tell if there's anything else. That works fine. Has some sort of like sticky-ish residue on it, so I'll have to clean it off. I'm getting like, I do just not use this very well. Vietnam style flash hider, <laughs> that thing really is like a triangle grip. You can kind of tell, it's pretty cool. I don't know. How much I like it. I know Tokyo Marie stuff's awesome. They have great um, internals and stuff, but it doesn't feel super solid on the outside. But I knew that it was a Tokyo Marie. I've had a ton of Tokyo Marie's in my time. I like the rubber butt pad actually a lot. That's, that feels good. All right, I think it came with a high cap. Yep, Vietnam Tokyo Marie high cap. Actually, the Colt trades on the bottom of the high cap are are good. I'm gonna put this box down on my bed first though. Um, it also comes with just the standard sling. But first gun out of the way. Pretty cool little first gun. Okay, let's go ahead and go with some of the little stuff. I'm trying to make this as streamlined as possible, but there are going to be a ton of boxes. But most of you guys absolutely love this. You love when I do these giant unboxings. I'm actually going to put a price of everything that I spent down in the description below. Because I'll put like $3,000, $2,000 unboxings. And people are like, oh, you don't get that. Two of the guns that I unboxed in my previous $5,000 biggest unboxing were Systemas, and the one I sold for $1,650, and the other system I still have, it's like at $1,500 valued-wise if I get it fixed. So those guns are worth that, and they're very expensive guns. Um, so price-wise, I'm going to put, this is an Arma Spec Extended Mag Release. This is for something that's in the, the last part. Um, I have a Palmetto State Armory uh, charging handle. You guys are try trying to, starting to get a little bit of hints there and understanding. This is, I believe, my... AFG. I bought one of the new M-Lock AFGs. I think this is the AFG. Maybe not. Nope. This, these are the... Oh, these are the Strike Industries M-Lock rail covers. So these are the M-Lock rail covers. I'm really excited to see how these look on the rifle itself. So hopefully those... I got the FDE ones. Um, they come in packs of five. I finally got a new ESS lens cover. I have been rocking the exact same ESS lens cover for like two years now. My ESS turbo fans and it's just gotten really bad. So I bought a new one. This was like 10 bucks um, profile ESS goggle. Um, let's unbox a gun. I'm tired. Actually, unbox more than one guns. This is something I traded. I think I traded this for my, um, yeah, I traded it for my double barrel AW custom high kappa. And so I will have some sweet stuff. I love pistols. I don't really use pistols to be honest, but I keep getting pistols. And I really, really like them. And then kind of trade them or use them for a little bit and just kind of shoot them in the backyard. But pistols are something that I absolutely love. 
So I think that's just the box. So we can move some of this stuff so I can not get in the way. All right, first pistol is an AW Custom High Pet Kappa, which is kind of surprising for you because you're like, you just traded one. I traded the double barrel for a single barrel, and this is pretty. Looks like it's a little bit of wear. It's the red, black, gold one. I like the flashiness that AW Custom pistols have. This grip is actually really, really comfortable. I have another, I, I just got in the Airsoft GI, the box, I believe, or the video I did right before this, I got the AW Custom um, Saiyan Arms version of this. So hopefully these mags, I'm guessing, will be cross compatible and I can use with that. But man, that thing feels good. I can't focus on too many guns because once I do, wow, it's got fiber optic red and green sights. That's cool. I like that a lot. The other one just has a fiber optic green on the front, my Saiyan Arms one does, but I like the red green because then you can line up your sight picture really easily. But shoot, that's sweet. I like that. I like the red and gold. I wasn't sure. I knew I liked gold and black, but I wasn't sure how I'd like the um, red with that. And it looks cool. There's just some extra parts. Let me put that to the side. And then this is something I don't know if I'm super excited for, to be honest. Like, it's cool. This is a Desert Eagle CO2 KWC. I've had two or three Tokimuri hard kick Desert Eagles, and I've heard these ones just suck compared to the Tokimuri. But, I mean, honestly, you can't really compare much to Tokimuri. These ones do have full auto, however, which... I don't, I don't understand at all. I don't want full auto in a pistol. There's no need for full auto in a pistol. I do like the silver on this. This is actually really cool. I never was able to get one of the silver um, Desert Eagles from Tokyo Marie because they were so rare and so expensive. But I had two of the black ones and then actually had one of the silver mags. This thing's actually pretty cool though. I like it. I like the look. I like the silver a lot. KWC makes pretty decent stuff. I love the CO2. Shoot, that hammer pulls. That's, that's pretty big. Oh, great. Tornado sirens. Hey, Ray, get the guns, boys. The Japs are coming. Every single time I feel like I make a video, something happens. Last time it was a plane went over. This time the great old sirens went off. Creak, 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 creak. Creak, creak, creak. Pew, 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 pew. Without further ado, let's get into this stupid unboxing though. Dumb sirens. So these actually go together. These are something that I'm super excited for. I've had quite a few in the past and I love them. Um, but this is a Tokyo Marui 5.1 high cap. This thing I am super, super excited for because I have had a few of these in the past. I had a Limcat custom one. And so I traded my Tokimurui uh, FN57 for this one. And he said he threw something extra in, which looks like SciTech Sci High Tech Polymer Holster. Uh, they get the stock BBs. We'll pull everything out of here. There's a little, oh, that's an egg. A dye paintball mask. Sorry, I don't play paintball. Just getting die airsoft masks are actually really, really cool. Um, guns in here. Just in a bubble mailer. Oh, I never get, I'm going to be honest, I never get tired of looking at Tokyo Marine High Cabas. Like, never. I love the 1911 frame. I love how they look. They are gorgeous guns. They are so crisp and snappy when you shoot them, especially after you can short stroke them. You put some higher quality parts in here. And that's exactly what I got for this next box. But I won't go too quickly. I just want to look through all the stuff. So the Palmer holster, is the holster in here? He said he was including the holster, but it's not here. He included the package for it, but he did not include the holster itself unless I am blind. No, I'm not blind. He didn't include it. So I got a box, I guess, which is kind of cool. Um, pistol, obviously love. Oh yeah, that's right. He gave me two other mags. I forgot to talk about those. Um, these are all Tokyo Marine mags. I gave him one with mine, then I gave him two WE Glock mags that I had had. So three mags makes this a very skirmishable gun. I don't know exactly when I'll be using this. Here's the bottom rail, um, because it's hard to, I, there's no, there's a very few indoor fields near my house and any of the ones that are actual indoor fields aren't very good. So I'm hoping that I can use this. If I lived in California with you guys, I would be using pistols all the time. It'd be so sweet just to be able to run around with a pistol. I would love that. And this is the upgrade part for this. This is a um, Airsoft Surgeon Upper for the Tokyo Murray 5.1 high cap. This is a 4.3 style upper. 
but it's just because it's a little bit shorter. But as you can tell by this right here, it is not that much shorter because it has a compensator on here as well. And then this is the recoil guide rod, looks like it's extended, that's pretty cool. And then it has this sweet extended charging handle on there. I am going to be doing a separate video on this pistol because I love it. I might, I don't really think I have time to put this on. We'll just kind of throw it there real quick just so you can see maybe like, vaguely what it looks like, what it's going to look like. But it should look something like, let me put this light on. I know they're, they're, the, the fitting is pretty tight. I probably need just two hands to be able to do this. But yeah, so basically it'll kind of look something like this. And that's gonna look a that's gonna be a sweet looking pistol. So I'm super excited for that build. I'm excited to get some other upgrade parts for the high cap as well, because I love Tokyo Marine high cappers and I love getting to play with them and build. I just enjoy. I like honestly. I love getting new guns and just building them because I enjoy building guns. This I believe is the AFG, the Magpul AFG that I got. Uh, below this, I have a Crytek SPR, which is super exciting because I've never actually owned an SPR before. I've had a Crytek LVOA, but not an SPR. So this is the M-Lock. I actually got this in gray. M-Lock AFG. I got this in gray because I, I don't know, I think I, I, really, I really like the gray. I haven't decided completely how much I like it, but I'm going to leave that in there because it has a mounting hardware, and I will put that on soon. This is the bottom of the box. This is the top of the box, hopefully. I can actually break through it. I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos this summer. I've been trying to do a lot of stuff. Um, it's been a little bit hard for me to edit gameplay footage. I keep getting the question, Alec Mac, why don't you upload gameplay footage? You have so many guns and stuff. I have actually been playing it more than I got to play last summer, which is awesome. I've gone to Warden twice. I went to Assault Airsoft once. So I've been able to go to some of these fields, and I'm, and I'm planning and hopefully playing one more time. Um, but now that I'll be at college this next year, I have some friends at college that play with me. And so I'm finally finding some places in Indiana to actually play. There's a place called Blast Camp, I believe. Um, and then there's some other stuff that I have been looking at that would be awesome to go play at. This is a well-packaged box. You always can tell when you trade stuff with people that are older um, and more mature because, one, they talk to you in a way that's not like, Hi, I'm a 12 year old. I want to trade you my Simon AK for your Polar Star. Because that happens to me all the time. Not insulting you 12 year olds. I hope you guys are doing better out there, but there are a lot of people that are just not good at trading and I'll just talk to you and say stupid things. But here is the gun. He actually included a Neotech as well because I traded him for another stock, but I still have to ship him out. But this is, so this is almost too well done of a packing job. The fact that he covered all of it with cardboard um, and then bubble wrap the, around the cardboard so it's like a hard case as well. I mean, that's great, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know the balance of, hey, I have this gun, should I show you me ripping the entire part around it? Whoa, that grip is sweet. That foregrip is super cool. I don't know if that's one of the sweet arms is. This is why we can't have nice things, guys. Bear with me. Bam. Oh, it's got a side rail too. It's a cannon rail. And that's a, what is that grip? Speed? Oh, that looks beautiful. I'll be honest, I'm surprised he shipped the entire gun instead of putting it in two layers. There's some tape there, so I got to remove that without scratching the body. There we go. That is, I don't know what the USAC this is, but that's actually in really good shape. Get the good old chrono tag. Crytek stock. Wow. I like this flash tire. I don't think that's the stock one. I don't really know. I don't know what that speed grip is. Hmm. It's not super comfortable. It's a little bit far out. I guess it's a little bit shorter for me. I could probably... What is it? I don't know what that feels like. That feels... It's kind of like an AFG, but backwards? You can kind of get a good wrap there with thumb over more. That's kind of cool. I mean, this gun is dope, though. This EOTech actually looks really nice, too. It looks in really good condition. It's probably red-green doesn't have any batteries in it but probably is red green this grip is different I don't know if I like this grip he said it was the different one from the Crytek one I think the stock Crytek ones are great this is a different angle it's more of like a K grip on like a Magpul K grip on the real steel so I don't know how I feel about that it feels pretty good though but honestly if I want to keep this and use this a ton I will just upgrade it a little bit and change a little bit of the insides he did include another stock which I told him not to because I said I don't really need this stock dude it's a $18 stock on e-bike, um, 
I don't know exactly what brand it is, but that's a good little surprise. He gave me a pro one. I don't remember him saying that he was going to give me a pro one. Maybe he said he was something about it, but um, I can't. I think he said something about it, but I wasn't sure if he was actually going to include it. So thanks, dude. It looks like it has an Amazu flat hop on there as well. Is that a flat hop? Can't tell. It's either the flat hop or the rollers. I cannot see exactly through there. But this is a, I think this is Spartan something stock. It's kind of cool, but not really necessary for what I'm going to do. I think that's everything in that box. So we'll go ahead and put that away. I know this is a long video, guys. Stay with me. I'm sure a lot of you guys love these longer videos because you actually get to see me and hear me talk. Some of you complain that I don't make enough videos. Um, I, I, in order to power all these guns, I had to get batteries, so I bought some batteries. Um, I have bought seven, but I sold two of them to James, my best friend from college, so I gave him those because we played last weekend. And these are all 7.4 Turnigy LiPos. If you guys are looking for cheap LiPos, these are the way to go, man. These Turnigy LiPos are so cheap. I think I got these for like 10 bucks a piece. They're the Nanotech Turnigy, Nanotech LiPos, and they are so good. So I just bought a bunch of 7.4s because they were out of ones in stock-wise. But they are great, great, great batteries. All right, next gun. I bought another one of these. I got this in a, um, in a trade, actually. So I bought the first one in a mystery box, and I actually got another one of these in a trade. These are the VFC mod... Uh, the VR-16, I just call them the VFC study killers. These things are super cool. I love this gun. Honestly, though, if you want to trade, I'm trying to get a GMP Baby Monster gun. If you guys have been around my channel for, it's probably been three years, uh, so this will be only a few of you. If you actually remember my GMP Baby Monster, comment Baby Monster in the comments. It'd be really cool to see how many of you guys remember that. That gun was smacking people. I mean, it, it had a, a tank flash hider on it, so every time it shot, I mean, full auto, 25 rounds a second back in the day, everyone was... Scared of it now that SureShot Midget runs 40 with everything. Um, it's not as impressive, but I want to get another one of those, get a BTC and then a UBR again on that and just make that a super sweet stubby gun. Rip. At least I have the gun and there's nothing else in there. But that gun is super cool. This is a classic Army second to last box, so we're getting there. Oh, I got some more BBs too. I went to Airsoft Alpha from my local place so I could get some BBs because I needed some, and I used these last weekend. I used half a bag slaying noobs at Warden. Warden is, is a fantastic field, by the way. I loved it. It was super fun. Got to meet some cool dudes there. Um, got to meet a guy named Ducky, who I met for the first time. He's actually been a long-time subscriber, so that was pretty cool. But awesome, awesome field. Great rep. A guy there named Joe, who's just best rep I've by far ever played with. One of the best like, people I've ever met with in my life. I almost full out of the crap out of him, and he managed to jump out of the way, duck, and then the six people that were behind him stacked up a wall, got lit up, and he was just laughing the entire time, so it's super cool. All right, this is a classic army DMR from what I was told. I don't actually know what body this is, but it's got a sweet logo there. This is like the, it's like a skull, but it's got an American flag on it. The body's kind of beat up, but I'm not super worried for this. I traded this for another one of my guns. I don't exactly remember which one it was. Comes with a sniper scope. Very cheap sniper scope. I don't even, it doesn't even say brand on this. It's 3, 3, 9 by 40, but it doesn't even say what brand it is. And it looks very cheap, but that is absolutely fine as long as it works. Here is an extra part for the inside of it. I don't exactly know what. Oh, this is a battery. Oh, sweet. So he included a battery. This is probably one. This is one of the yeah, the Nantec batteries. I don't remember him saying he was including that. Thirteen hundred twenty-five to fifty C discharge. The good old KW Max. If you guys have K one twenties and you're using anything above a point two gram BB, you should probably throw it away because these things are trash. They do not feed very well, and if you overload them once, they don't work very well. They work well in KDBA guns, but they don't feed in a lot of other guns. They don't feed well in GMPs, which is primarily what I use. I've just heard not great things about these. If you want to stretch the springs, you might have a chance, but I had six at one point, and they just did not feed very well at all, and I never overload mags because I'm pretty careful to, to, to count them out because I have overloaded mags in the past, so I wanted to be intentional not to. Again, I have a pile of boxes over there. Here is the upper. It's got a key mod upper. I can't tell if this is just a ZCI. Actually, it looks like it's numbers match um, the upper, so it might just be this the stock classic army or whatever a while ago, but this thing looks pretty cool. So that'll definitely be in my new collection video, which I will be doing after this, obviously, since I got a ton of stuff and you guys have been asking for my collection videos. But gun feels pretty solid. I love DMRs. Honestly, in Airsoft, it's one of my favorite things to do play-wise because I get to play... 
I don't ever use full auto. I'm just not a full auto person. That's not my game. That's not my style. I do have a, a BTC MOSFET and some fast trigger response, but I never run full auto exactly. This is the final part of the unboxing, and I am so excited for this. If you guys have stayed till the end of the video, comment AR15 because that is what I just bought. I bought the lower a while ago. My family actually bought that for my birthday. Got a cheap Palmetto State Armory lower, and then I spent some money and I got a fairly expensive Palmetto State upper. This actually has a Geisley rail on it. So I am super excited for this. It's an AR pistol. I'm 21 now, so I can run it. Um, I have to get a brace for my, um, not instead of the stock, I have to get a brace because of the ATF rules and such. That's also why I had to get an AFG grip because you're not allowed to use a vertical foregrip or it turns it magically into a real firearm somehow. Uh, or it turns it into an SBR somehow just by changing the grip. But I am so excited for this. Uh oh. It says stop. If seal is broken or damaged, check contents before. Nope. Nobody cares. I am getting the upper receiver. Oh my beautiful. Look at all look at all this foam. Look at this entire upper receiver or upper box. Just for this for this one beautiful piece of equipment. I am absolutely in love. So this does not come with the charging handle or bolt carrier group. That's why I have it over there. But look at that little upper. Look at the geyser rail. I'm so excited for this. This is my first AR-15 build that I'm going to be doing. I thought about doing a series, but I might just end up showing you guys or me shooting it. I only have three weeks left before I go back to college, so I gotta get it in a little bit quick. Has the Geisley Super Gas Block on there, standard flash header, I actually have another one. Um, I believe this is stainless steel, steel barrel, and this is the Geisley M-Lock rail system. The Geisley rails are so, so, so pretty. Man, that is absolutely gorgeous, and it's not that heavy to be honest. Like it's, I mean, it's hefty compared to an airsoft gun. Like it's, it's hefty. It weighs probably twice as much as this long upper receiver, maybe a time and a half. But this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of equipment. I love Geisley stuff. I want to actually get a Geisley on my system a while ago, but I was like, yeah, that's kind of expensive. Not worth it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I get a lot of requests to do biggest unboxing, so that's why I do it. I trade a lot during the summer. I'm able to trade a ton more than I am in the winter because it's just it's easier for me to be able to trade. So I get to trade these things and I get to do these unboxings. I love when I end a video with when I have my entire bed covered with stuff. It's just fun. Like I enjoy getting airsoft guns. I can get I enjoy buying, selling, and trading. I go back to college in three weeks, so I have three weeks left of college. I'm actually shooting a wedding this weekend. Um, but I have a ton of gameplay footage that I've stocked up, so I will be able to do that when I'm at college. It's just hard. I'm about to be a senior in college, and then I'm probably going to start some of my master's classes this year, so I don't have a whole lot of time. But I love Airsoft still. I'm not going anywhere with that. I'm not stop making videos. I get questions every once in a while, but I think I upload consistently enough that I'm no one freaks out like, oh, Alec Mac, you're vanishing. But if you like this video, please share it with your friends, guys. I love this. I love being able to do this, and it'd be sweet for us to be able to hit 100,000 subscribers eventually. I'm at 56,000 now, which is great. And I love your faces for it. This has been Alec Mack 101, and I'll see you later.